ABC News is under fire this morning after labeling the prominent civil liberties organization Alliance Defending Freedom. They labeled it a hate group. The organization now calling them out for journalistic malpractice, demanding they retract the story and issue an apology. That's right. Joining us right now, the legal and the legal counsel and communications director of Alliance Defending Freedom from Los Angeles, Carrie Kupik. Uh, Carrie, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so what did ABC do, and why do you take exception to it? Yeah, I take a lot of exception to it, and this is the reason that President Trump and the American people are frustrated with the media. What ABC did was essentially cut and paste a smear campaign from a radically left-wing, violence-inciting organization uh, called the Southern Poverty Law Center and put it out as fact in a headline, uh, comparing us uh, or saying, labeling us as a hate group, uh, when in fact we are one of the most respected Supreme Court practices in the country. We've actually won seven cases in the last seven years. We just won a case at the Supreme Court a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you might be familiar with the playground case mm -hmm. where uh, the Supreme Court said that you can't treat people of faith worse than everyone else and you can't deny uh, uh, children safer playgrounds simply because they attend a religious school. So that's what we're about. But unfortunately, ABC took it upon themselves to present a, an incredibly biased headline uh, that indicated otherwise. I know ABC smeared Christians who believe the Bill of Rights secures religious liberty and called you a hate group, said you were anti-LGBT. What is the mission of your group? Yeah, nothing could be further from the truth. Our mission is pretty simple. We advocate for all people of faith to be able to freely and peacefully live out their conscience and their faith without threat of government punishment. And there is a distinct common denominator among our clients who we represent, and it's this. They love everyone. They serve everyone, no matter who they are, no matter what their walk of life is, no matter how they identify. But they can't be compelled by the government to create custom design or art for all all events that are asked of them. Uh, it's a violation of their conscience as, as faith-based people. And I think all of us, regardless of where we stand on the issue of, say, something like marriage, should be deeply concerned about a government that can punish someone simply for living in accordance with their faith as an artist. Okay, so it's one thing, what you're saying is it's one thing for the Southern Poverty Law Center, which you say has an agenda and they are uh, to the left. It's one thing for them to call you a hate group, but for ABC News then to just, you said just uh, cut and paste that headline, put it on their website, that's where you got a problem. Have you heard from ABC yet? Are, and I know you want an apology. Yeah, I, we would like an apology. We would like them to uh, retract the story. They've mo they have uh, modified the headline slightly, but let's again, let's think about who they were referencing. Southern Poverty Law Center is an organization that attacks veterans, nuns, Muslims who, who, um, who are fighting Islamic terrorists. Uh, they attack Christians, Catholics, it doesn't matter. And yet ABC took it upon themselves to cut and paste uh, language from this violence inciting organization and put it in their headline as fact. And what's really sad to me, uh, Steve, is that the real news got lost in all of this. And that was that uh, Attorney General Jeff Sessions delivered a beautiful speech on religious freedom. And I encourage all viewers to check it out on The Federalist. Look at the remarks where he talks about religious freedom and freedom of conscience being inherent to who we are as a nation and as a society. And that's the real news. He talked about uh, faith driving Martin Luther King Jr. to do the great work that he did. Right. And it's that faith, same faith that inspires us to do what we do and our clients to serve and love everyone. Okay. Uh, Carrie, we do understand that ABC has attributed that quote, the hate group uh, passage to the Southern Poverty Law Center now. So at least there is some small print that explains why they have it in it now. Is that okay for you? Uh, <laughs> I would like for them to also include the quote uh, from our organization within their piece as well and actually explain what we do and what we're about. Carrie, if they uh, don't that do would that. Be, that, would be, that would be real news. What's your response if they don't do that? Well, we're going to continue to fight this kind of fake news because that's what this is about. Journalists are ethically obligated to present both sides of the story, and a mainstream news outlet like ABC News needs to present both sides of a conversation. And what they're doing when they cut and paste smear campaigns is simply um, just encouraging this lack of civil discourse in our society. Okay. That's a real problem. Tolerance should be a two-way street. All right. Uh, Carrie, Thank you, back. Carrie. Join us from L.A. Thank you.